In this video, I'm going to show you about the Motorola Mocha adapter. And in my home setup, I basically have the AT&T gateway, which is our Uverse fiber connection. And from it, we have a Mocha adapter connected. And that's connected via Ethernet cable. From the Mocha adapter to the coax splitter, we're using a coax cable. And then from that coax splitter, we have three Mocha adapters hanging off of it. And then from each one, we have an Apple TV a wireless access point, and also a smart TV. And I have one more that has my home office, which has another Cisco router connected off of it. So the first thing I want to show you is the Mocha adapters uh, from Best Buy. You can get this device for $59.99. On Amazon right now, it's $100 bucks or a two-pack for $117. If you're in a rush and want to get it sooner and you can't wait on Amazon, the Action Tech bonded Mocha adapter works just as well. And you can actually integrate the Action Tech and Motorola together. They'll work on the same coax cable. So there's an instruction for setting up Mocha security. And this is basically if you're using cable internet or you have cable TV and you want to prevent others from using your Mocha or connecting to your Mocha network. This article explains how to set that up using a physical uh, PoE filter or logging into the Mocha adapter and setting a security key. In these tabs I have a, the security key, how you would set that up and you would set the static IP address on your computer to 192.168.0.5 and then you can navigate to 0 0.2. This isn't important in most cases. Uh, most people are probably going to be using this with DirecTV or uh, disconnected uh, DirecTV service. So you actually can't use the Mocha adapters with DirecTV equipment active. If you have discontinued your DirecTV service and the splitters are already in place, it will work. But on the box, when you purchase it, it says it will not work with DirecTV. And that's because their technology also uses the same frequencies uh, for the live TV streaming and also the remote playback on their DVRs. The second tab we're going to look at is the device info. It shows you what software, hardware versions, uh, the link uptime for the particular node, and also the core uptime, core being the main node that's connected to your internet connection. You can see here that I have four devices total. It shows you the MAC address, signal to noise ratio, uh, what speeds they're capable of. So I've been able to get pretty close to 900 meg on this uh, connected via Ethernet cable over the coax. So that's pretty impressive. You can see the bit loading over here. The other thing is you can see the Ethernet statistics. Gives you a little bit more detail if you're having problems. And then finally, it gives you the option to change your RF band and the RF switch. So I'm going to actually show you now uh, through the webcam what these devices look like, you know, the physical speeds we're getting, and our splitter outside. So here we have our AT&T Uverse box. Uh, we have our ONT connection that goes out to our fiber. We have a wireless access point, and we also have the Mocha adapter. So that Ethernet cable goes right here to this box, and this box has a coax connector that goes out to our splitter that's on the outside of the house that we'll look at in a second. It has the Ethernet cable that goes back to the AT&T box and a power supply. The lights, the device status, we have power, LAN, and link. On the back of the device, it shows the serial number, the MAC address, the model number, a couple uh, FCC notifications. So now we're going to go look outside at our PoE splitter. Okay, so out here we have our splitter that has our cable going from the AT&T Mocha adapter back to the rest of the house. Okay, so upstairs here we have another Mocha adapter. Uh, it's connected to our coax drop and it goes into our Apple TV. I'm going to disconnect this and plug it in the laptop to show you what kind of throughput we're getting. So looking at speedtest.net, if we do a speed test using the Mocha adapter, here's what our results look like.
Let's just run it one more time. So typically we receive around 800 meg. So it looks like there's something going on with our internet. So our upload speed is still around 500 meg. So the adapters are pretty much plug and play as long as you have a cable internet connection or cable TV service rather. Again, they do not work with DirecTV.